Hey all Paul and welcome to another Hengis Wild Camps. It's a little bit different today. I don't do this often but it's another one of those videos where there's no camping. So for those that are not interested I don't blame you if you want to switch off now. <laughs> now the reason why I'm out in my local park today is because I'm testing my new action camera the Wolfang GA440. I've just taken a, a little sit down on this bench in park while I have a chat with you. It's a lovely day. Well, it's not raining, so that's a bonus. <laughs> now, the reason why I'm using this camera is because I fancied having a second one because there, there has been times where, let's say, for example, I've been taking uh, a time lapse of the sun going down and a wild animal has run past the campsite or something funny has happened and there's been a few times where I've thought I wish I had another camera just to capture that so uh, this is the reason why I'm using this I'll just tell you a few of the uh, things about this camera it does all the regular things that a normal action camera will do time lapses slow-mo but it's also got quite a high resolution on it it will go up to 5k on this camera even my uh, Osmo 4 doesn't do that now this is a pretty much test straight out of the box the only setting that I've changed on the camera is that I've taken it off the wide field of view and I put it onto the medium field of view just because that's what I do on the other camera apart from that as I said it's on its default settings I'm shooting this in 4k at the moment now since I've had this camera I've tried it in uh, several locations I've tried it down the pub, here's some footage. Good health everybody. And cheers. And I've also taken it up Kinder Scout. Here's some footage of that. Well, I'm filming this on the uh, Wolfhang GA440 camera. I'm using the internal microphone, so uh, it'll be a good test of how it sounds when it's outside. It's not too windy at the moment, so uh, I don't know what it'll be like when it's really windy. I suppose you'll have to get some kind of uh, kind of dead cat cover on the microphone or thing. I'll turn the camera around and let's have a look at our campsite with this camera. So I'm panning from left to right and coming into shot there should be Michael's tent, my tent and there's Kev's tent. So I'm going to walk back to my tent and uh, I suppose it'll be another good test of the stabilisation. Hello Yanu, good dog, yeah. Right, well, I'm walking towards Yanu, our camp guard dog. Ferocious beast, are you, Yanu? Are you? Yes, you are. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm just purposely moving the camera around while I'm walking. See how steady the image is. Here's Yanu again. Hey, hey, Yanu. Uh, I shall walk back to my tent now. <laughs> Some cheeky Yanu in my tent there while I was uh, playing with the camera. Right, I'll get on with my packing up now. All I've got to do really is drop the tent. See you in a bit. Now, as well as those specs which I mentioned before, this camera out of the box is waterproof. Um, I'm not quite sure of the depth, I've, it could be 1 meter, it could be 10 meters, but it's waterproof for general filming. Uh, it comes with a deep water case if you want to go diving with it. And one of the things about the camera is that it's completely sealed, there's no doors on it. 
it was designed as an entry-level camera so it's got a built-in rechargeable battery it's got a built-in memory card it's basically just click point and go you won't be leaving the house thinking oh I forgot my memory card or I forgot to put a battery in it or anything like that as I said it's all built in it's a nice little all-in-one unit well I'm gonna have a, a little walk around the park and film some things and uh, I'll show them to you now this camera it also comes with quite a few accessories I did a video earlier unboxing it so I'll show you that the postman's just turned up and he's brought me a present I wonder what it is let's get it open my GA440 action camera all right well let's uh, open the box and see what's in it all right we've got a quick start guide a user manual camera itself in its uh, deep water case and then a box of accessories right let's see what we've got in here got an extra cover, remote control with a strap for turning it on and off, and lots of various mounts for it. Let's have a look at this camera. Right, let's just take it out of there. There is the uh, action camera itself. Right, well, I think I will familiarise myself with instructions and see how it works. Well, I'm just coming up to uh, a famous stone uh, in this park. Up there is where the old stables were. And just up there, you can see the uh, remains of the uh, big estate house that these gardens used to belong to once upon a time. Well, I'll just show you this inscription it looks like it's in Latin but it's an old Staley Bridge jolteless a uh, rub bing stone for asses <laughs> it always makes me laugh <laughs> Well, let's have a look at this sign that I'm just about to walk up to here. Right, well, what I'm going to do next is walk down to, um, I don't know what you call it, an information sign, a plaque, a stone monument. <laughs> well, I'm going to do something naughty and cut across the grass. I made it across the grass, back onto the path. Well, as I said, I'm just going to uh, walk down here. I've just made my way down to where this uh, monument is. Monument, that sounds a bit grand, that. A plaque that tells you a little bit about the town history. It's just there behind me. Let's have a walk up to it. And here it is, Staley Bridge, a history.
list of dates here of things that happened. <laughs> 1748, population estimated at 140. <laughs> I thought that might be of some interest. I found it interesting anyway. Well, I'm just going to uh, carry on walking through the park and I'll take a few shots as I'm walking. Well that was my first look at the Wolfang GA440 action camera. Not an in-depth review or anything like that. As I said, it's a first look, an initial test. Pretty much out of the box apart from one setting. I changed wide to medium, that's the only thing. If you're thinking about getting uh, an action camera, a budget one, and you're uh, interested in the Wolfang models, then hopefully this little video We'll let you see what quality is like on the camera. Well, that's it from me. My uh, next video, normal service will be resumed and I'll be back to camping again. So until then, it's bye from me. Cheerio all.